The Day Before is here. Is it a real game? Well, we'll be checking it out on GeForce Now. Stay tuned. First things first, I wanted to give you guys an update on the status of Call of Duty on the platform. Season 1 is live, and Nvidia is constantly working on the fixes for Call of Duty. They've released an update on the 4th, which has reduced the number of required relaunches. Also, since the launch of Season 1, Warzone is now a part of Modern Warfare 3. So you don't have to launch Modern Warfare 2 to launch Warzone, which will reduce loading times, which is great. The time for preloading shaders has also been reduced significantly, so good on Nvidia for that. We still need a fix for random crashes for priority and especially the free tier. I personally haven't been able to get in to critique the experience on the free tier to finish my all tiers video. So I'll be working on getting that footage so hopefully I can have an all tiers video for Call of Duty out very soon. You can see here I managed to get third in my very first run of Warzone for this new season. Let me know if you want to see this full run. The GeForce Now team finally has an update for Halo today. Halo Infinite was planned to join the cloud in September, but encountered some technical issues. The GeForce Now team is working with Microsoft and game developer 343 Industries to bring the game to the service in the coming months. Stay tuned to GeForce Now Thursday for further updates. Well, that's the latest on Halo Infinite. I hope they really get this updated soon because I'd love to play some Firefight on the platform. So there are 17 new games launching on the platform today, including the highly controversial game The Day Before. We'll see if this game is anything like they were saying it was going to be. Also, Ubisoft is launching the new Avatar game, which features a co-op campaign. We'll get a crossplay going, showcasing this game on GeForce Now and maybe another platform. Also, let us know if you want to see any footage regarding the new Fortnite updates. We can make a couple of videos on that if you want, so let us know. And finally, NVIDIA is celebrating 500 RTX on games and applications featuring the cinematic and immersive ray tracing technology. Ultimate and Priority members can stream a number of RTX supported games by checking out the RTX on game room in the GeForce Now app to join in on the celebrations. There are 17 new games this week, 8 of them being Xbox games and 9 on other platforms. Starting with the Microsoft games, first we have World War Z Aftermath Goat Simulator 3 Against the Storm Dungeons 4 Farming Simulator 22 Hollow Knight Ori and the Will of the Wisps Also available on Steam Spirit Tea Now for the other platforms, first we have Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a new release on Ubisoft Connect. Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, a new release on Steam. The Day Before, a new release on Steam. Lego Fortnite, a new release on the Epic Game Store. Fortnite Festival, a new release on the Epic Game Store, December 9th. Rocket Racing, a new release on the Epic Game Store, tomorrow. Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express, available on Steam. Beast, available on Steam. Ori and the Blind Forest, Definitive Edition, available on Steam. If you like this week's news overview of GeForce Now, feel free to give us a like. Also, make sure to subscribe at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.